Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to do a new challenge that uh, one of you or I think many of you posted uh, on my previous challenge video where I basically was looking for Earth from outside of the galaxy but this time the challenge was to find the central, um, the black hole, the supermassive black hole called Sagittarius A, this thingy right here. Uh, without using anything really, without using any kind of navigational tools and see if I can do it from Earth. Now this video is going to be not edited uh, and I'm going to try to talk through it so you can see that I didn't really edit anything. Uh, and uh, well, let's actually try it. I don't really know if I'm going to succeed or not, um, but we can definitely try. Uh, I'm going to time myself, see how long it takes me. But basically, the only real way of doing this is to essentially just fly into the center of the galaxy and see if we can maybe get lucky and discover it um, somewhere in the middle. Um, the problem with this technique, of course, is that I'm about to reach area where I'll be looking for a needle in a haystack of needles. It's essentially close to impossible. There's a lot of, lot of stars in the center of the galaxy. A lot of them are massive enough to actually kind of appear um, interesting, but for the most part, uh, this is really going to be just pure luck. Um, now, how do I know when I'm in the center? Well, I'm going to, of course, turn around and I'm going to look behind me. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to turn myself over because I kind of think I'm, I was technically upside down. I, I know this because this, whatever this thing is, usually is on the bottom. I've done this before. Didn't take me um, too long to find the galaxy, oh, sorry, the black hole in the center of the galaxy. But you know what? I think it was pure luck then and it's going to be pure luck now even if I find it. So. How do we know when we are in the center? Well, uh, I could have actually timed myself uh, moving away from Earth and I could have done this very specifically, very precisely, mathematically using, of course, the, um, the velocity here. I could have calculated exactly how long I have to fly from Earth. Uh, but you know what? We're doing this more roughly. We're doing this just for fun. And we're also going to maybe check out some of these other objects that are in the center of the galaxy, like whatever that thing is. Some sort of a diffuse nebula. Um, but anyway, so to, to see if you're in the center, basically look around and you should see just enough uh, of these d uh, diffuse elements which are formed by smaller stars um, and other interstellar dust, of course. Of course. And uh, so essentially, I think we are kind of now in the center of the galaxy. And as you can see, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of stars. There's tons of stars here. There's so many stars that it is mind-blowing. And so finding one that seems to be... Uh, a black hole like environment where it might have other stars orbiting around it. And this is actually the only way we would know that this is Sagittarius A is if it has other stars orbiting around it is going to be kind of hard. Super, super hard. Um, every time I did this, and I've, d I've done this about maybe two or three times now, I either was completely lost and had no idea where to go uh, because there's really no in indicators. It's very difficult to kind of find anything. Um, or I got super luck and there was right in front of me. But this time it might actually be a problem because um, I don't really see anything. I don't see nothing so far. I am going toward the very bright objects just to see if possibly that's it. But so far, nothing. Absolutely nothing. And... Um, the only real sort of challenge here is, of course, the fact that, well, it's a black hole, right? You can't really see it, but you can see the effects of a black hole. Now, if this was very realistic in terms of, um, like, us being in the spaceship trying to find it, what we would be looking for, of course, is the velocities of different stars. Like, I, I would click on this and I would see what the speed is um, of the star compared to other stars. I need to actually remove this so that I'm not cheating here. Um, and basically, essentially, you would find the increase in velocity is the closer you would get to the black hole. Um, and that way you'll be able to find where it is. But because these stars are actually kind of not moving in Space Engine, it is not very easy. It is not as easy as you think. And uh, one of the other ways I can maybe do this is by looking for Earth. And using Earth as a kind of um, indicator. Now we know that, uh, we know the distance to the central black hole, so I'm actually, uh, I overshot this a little bit. And the distance should be about um, 20, maybe 24,000 light years. 
or more like 26,000 uh, light years. And I actually had to go and look it up very quickly because I totally forgot the exact number. Uh, so we are kind of close. We are definitely close to where it should be. But as you can see, there's so many bright objects. It is just ridiculous. Um, there is uh, maybe a way to find this more precisely by jumping from nebula to nebula. I'm yet to find that particular way uh, or that particular pathway, I guess. Uh, my current sort of approach is to just really look for it. And I usually can tell because it's slightly brighter, slightly brighter than other uh, bright stars. Like it would be just a little bit more bright than this. And in this case, I don't see anything that's as bright. Maybe this? Nope, that's not it. Nothing is moving, so that's not it. And I'm actually, yeah, I was about to actually do this. This will help me a little bit. Um, if, if I increase the time here, what this will do is, I guess it's a little bit of cheating, but what this will do is it will actually make the stars around the black hole orbit fast. And so now I'll be able to detect it because it's going to be slightly more mobile or move, uh, things around it will move a little bit faster. Um, so I'll be able to actually see where it is a little bit easier. So we, we can see that this is not it because nothing is moving. Um, this is maybe... Nope, still not it. None of this actually is helping me so far. Um, well, it, this is really interesting because as soon as I start recording, things don't go well. Right before I record this, I tried this as a kind of a dry run and it took me about five minutes to find it. But it was completely by accident. So once again, this is... There's absolutely no signs here, mostly because we're, we don't really have any ways um, of detecting um, or knowing specific um, specific things, specific locations here to, to be able to orient ourselves. Uh, there's really no nebulas here, there's no famous big stars, or if there are stars that are big, there are, there's a lot of them. But uh, what is that? What is this? Nope, still nothing. Just, just a bright star. And I think this is also a bright star. Okay, well, that's not good. This is not going well. But you know what? I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep doing it until I actually find it. Uh, I think I'm not in the center anymore. Um, we're going to definitely discover it one day. We're going to find it one day. Even this, if this video takes like two hours. That would, that would really not be good. Bad YouTubing skills there. Uh, but I've decided not to edit this. Um, and I might as well just go with it. And so, where are you? Where are you, Mr. Mrs. Black Hole? I don't even know your gender. I'm going to guess that you are genderless, because you're just a black hole. Um, but the idea here, and I hope you kind of see from all of this, what I'm kind of trying to get to, is that we just have so many stars in our galaxy, and especially in the center of the galaxy. If you get lost in this region, you will never find your way home. Now, we can probably find a way back to Earth using the same technique we used before. Um, but unfortunately, th there is just no way for us to, to discover where this black hole is. Because we, even right now, we're not exactly sure where it is. Using our scientific instruments, we are kind of approximately know where, where it is within a distance of about 200 light years of that particular spot. But it is not certain. And so being able to find it precisely... Uh, without really using some sort of an interesting gravitational tool or um, very long observations of star motion around uh, this region would be close to impossible. And I'm not feeling very good about this video anymore. This is going to be challenging. This is definitely going to be hard. Is, my approach right now is to kind of try to move closer to a bright object just to see if it possibly is a black hole in the middle but none of these are so far and i should technically be able to see the motion of other stars around it if i'm close enough but so far nothing so far nothing and the interesting thing about it is that um it will actually look just like this until i approach and when i approach to it you'll see that it's actually going to move uh, or think, objects around it are going to move in very peculiar fashion because it has several stars that are very, very close to it. 
and those stars one day will get sucked in and create um, the accretion disk around the black hole. But one day I'll discover it, but possibly not today. Because right now I'm not finding it at all. It has to be somewhere in this region. It has to be somewhere here, but there's literally millions of stars. Um, just in this region alone. And there's, of course, billions of stars a little bit farther away. Each of these little dots is a star, and I'm really only trying to filter them by luminosity and only take a look at the super bright ones, because I know that this is actually what Sagittarius A would look like in Space Engine if you were trying to, um, if you're basically trying to uh, approach it from a distance. But so far, we don't see anything. Nope, not it. That is not it. And this is not it either. And this is not it either. And maybe, just maybe, nope, still not it. Well, this is not going well so far. I kind of wonder if this is going to be even a successful video, if I'm even going to end up posting this. It might be some sort of a special episode where you get to see me fail miserably and just talk to myself for like an hour as I'm trying to discover this center of the galaxy. Now this, you can see that this is a center mostly because um, the dust material stuff is all over the place. It's all around us. So this is definitely the center. So it has to be somewhere here. It's got to be somewhere here. But where? I don't know. I don't know. There's no signs on the space engine thing. They should put some signs up. Central black hole, this way. This many light years. Um, but imagine doing this in real life. Imagine that you're an actual astronaut trying to find an object in any galaxy. How do you even do it? How do you orient yourself? How do you figure things out in space? There is so many, so many different ways of doing it, but all of them require very, very long-term observations. So when we actually, hopefully, one day become spacefaring species, we need to really think about all of this. We need to discover a way to um, to find objects easier than just kind of looking at them and just kind of flying there. So maybe using some sort of a gravitational map um, where you can see the gravity of an object and you know exactly what it is because each object in, in a universe um, would have this kind of a fingerprint almost, a gravitational fingerprint where their gravity map, I guess you could call it, or the way that they influence uh, space-time is very unique, it's uh, very, very specific. And each planet, each star would have that kind of a um, gravity map, a gravitational sort of pinpoint that, were, that would allow you to then see where everything is. But other than that, I can't really think of anything. You would definitely not be just looking at them like I'm doing right now, because that is just impossible. Impossible. All right. Oh, no, that's not it. I thought I saw motion, but that was not motion at all. That was just me moving around. Um, Okie dokie. So, whoa, that's not going very good for us. And it looks like this is going to be one of those blooper episodes where Anton just does something silly, completely fails and finds nothing. And so there you go. We haven't found it. We haven't discovered it at all. That's not cool. That is not cool at all. Well, um, yeah, <laughs> there you go. Nothing. There's nothing. And it, it is somewhere here. It's def I'm sure it's like just staring at me and giggling quietly because it is definitely in this region. It is definitely here, but I don't see it. And the only reason I would see it is um, if there's like motion around it. But yeah, I think I'm just going around in circles at this point. Um, so this is how difficult this challenge is, actually. So difficult, as a matter of fact, that I'm going to fail it a few times before I finally succeed. And it's really pure luck at this point. Like, there is very, very little actual navigation you can do in this region because these stars are unknown to us. They're all kind of similar looking. They're all kind of bright. 
and for the most part each and single one of them is uh very close to one another so it's very difficult to basically um distinguish between them it's very difficult to see where everything is uh or where each individual star is that is and without knowing any specific objects here which we unfortunately don't it would be very challenging to navigate in this region and as you can see i'm experiencing this challenge right now nope none of this none of this and not this either that's just a very bright blue star and this is not it either and not that either and maybe this is in front of it but the answer is probably going to be no oh oh my god uh, oh oh jesus christ i found it oh the excitement in my in my mouth right now <laughs> um wh what what is going on okay so here it is that was completely by accident and i actually said that it probably wasn't it right but it actually was it all right so that was not a failure after all and there you go that is sagittarius a with its stars moving in very peculiar motion around it and the only reason i found this is because um well and the only reason basically i know that this is sagittarius a is because of this motion and you have to actually accelerate them dramatically to see it but um there you go we're going to come close to it we're going to slow down time a little bit actually and let's take a look at it but it looks like this is not a blooper after all. This is just a very, very ranty video where I'm kind of almost failing and then finding this completely by accident. I might actually do this again when I actually find a technique and describe it to you. Or actually, if you do know a technique um, that is very effective at finding Sagittarius A from Earth, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to find out if I can find this easier. Uh, but yeah, we're going to finish this video by essentially just going inside of it and I guess disappearing forever because the universe is about to close behind us and so there is Sagittarius A we found it completely by accident it looked it looked exactly like every other star around it and as you can see this is a very difficult challenge took me quite a long time but I did it I did it everyone I did it next time I'll do something else or possibly do this again in a more scientific way if I discover how to do this more scientifically but if you have any other challenges that you would like me to do or if you haven't seen my previous challenge where I found earth using space engine out of out of essentially outside of galaxy um do watch that video as well because it was a little bit more uh, educational than me just flying around trying to discover Sagittarius A and then bye bye universe the end thank you for watching please subscribe give me later guys and as always bye bye